why do you believe that it's so important to um, support an initiative like a hackathon in the university? So I think it's important to do activities that are beyond what's a typical academic unit and to integrate um, across disciplines projects that, that involve students across all the degree levels. So you're teaching computer science from yep. like the beginners to mm -hmm. the last year of yep. uh, university. That's right. And what are you trying to teach them like about um, how to use the skills that they are learning? Um, I think my main focus, at least in the last few years, has been teaching them how to actually go out and learn themselves, as opposed to just consuming content and repeating content that they need to learn how to learn, because that's what they need when they finish. That's my focus. So, uh, Cynthia was telling me that you have a lot of um, new students joining this career uh, mm -hmm. of computer science. Right. So, and I'm noticing that all the students are really like passionate about what they are doing, mm -hmm. they're studying hard, they know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So why do you think it's booming so much? Why there's like all this interest around computer science? Um, I think the main factor is the demand for computing and also um, secondary would be that I think society as a whole is getting more of a view of what computing science is through the work of, of Hadi Pajara with Code.org and other projects that are actually showing what computing is to society. Um, in the past, people used to think my son or daughter can use Google and, and uses his computer all the day, so she's an expert, so she doesn't need to study computer science. Whereas I think people are starting to understand in more depth that it's actually not just using a computer, but being able to build systems that use computers to solve problems. I see. So, which role do you think tech is having in Mexico? I mean, tech of tech of Monterey uh, University is having in Mexico in this uh, new trend of computer science. Um, I well, we, we've been this degree's actually been here on campus for over twenty years, so it's actually a, a, a deep degree. But they closed the degree for three years. Um, I think there's no limits really. We have students from this campus and this degree from our university that have gone on to work at large companies including companies like Google and Intel and IBM and uh, Zynga and whatever you can name and around the world. So I think there's no limits to what people can do that are coming from this degree program including going, not going towards industry but going into graduate school doing a master's and PhD. We have success stories from this campus of that. And what's the relationship with uh, like the local big the local big companies here in Guadalajara and the university? Um, it's it's pretty strong. I haven't been that much involved in the relations with with external companies with the campus since I was I was a director of the program which Cynthia is doing now back in two thousand two thousand one. So I don't really have enough context. That's a better question for Cynthia. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but it's important. It's critical. I mean, we we have work with uh, companies like Oracle, we have work with like the Software Development Center downtown, we have work with Intel a lot, IBM, HP, they're all working with us. I think um, the, key, the, the key problem is there's not enough students studying this degree and that's the work of, of university, government and industry to push it, not just industry saying we need people, no you have to help us promote the degrees and, and do work to help us promote these degrees so we have people studying it. My viewpoint, as opposed to I don't know how and what's actually going on directly with the companies now. And w when do you teach to your students? So what uh, what do you envision for them? Like you 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 give them your knowledge, mm -hmm. imagine that what they will do with that. Um, again, I don't think there's any 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 limit on what they should do. Um, I just want them to learn to be innovative, and and not just restrict themselves to what they read in a book or what they see on a paper or what they see in a video but actually go beyond and have the confidence that they can do more than what they see because this field expanding so fast there's really no limits on what they can do. What do you think is the advantage of uh, being a computer science student right now in Mexico instead of like in US or in Canada? Um, I don't I don't think in terms of where you study, I don't think there's any limits to barriers or where you can go because we live in a global world. Students can move around easily. The advantage they have here, definitely the Tecto Monte, is, is to have, including their native Spanish, well for most of them there are some native English or Russian speakers here, but um, 
besides their native Spanish, they all have excellent, excellent English skills, which gives them the ability to work abroad in most, most, uh, most companies very easily. Um, as well as Guadalajara in particular is, is one flight to many cities in the U.S., including Silicon Valley, including um, Dallas or, or Houston or, or, or other points in the U.S. We have a big advantage that we're really, really close in terms of time zone shift. We don't have the problem of time zone shift. I've worked with people across the globe and that's an issue. Or, or language communication. So they have that big advantage being here as opposed to say in India or in Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic, yes. So I think um, Mexicans have a big spark. Um, they have a, a, a bigger motivation than say from my native Canada, the US, to really push farther because I think um, our first worldness of being in Canada, the U.S., gives us kind of a complacency that students here don't really have. Um, Mexico is technically still a third world country. These students are very privileged that are studying here. They're not the standard Mexican population. But they want to push themselves to go further because they know they can do more than what their parents did or what someone else has done here. What's the average grades of your students? Um, I don't think that's relevant because every university has a different grading system where grades can be inflated or deflated based on policy rankings. So um, I've had experience with accepting students from multiple universities to go to graduate school and every university has a completely different grading system. So I don't, I don't think that's okay. relevant. I just ask you because um, most of the students that they met, they really they're the, proud of being have nine point two. Oh, so the ones three. the ones that you saw the hackathon are definitely the ones on the higher end of the of the bell curve of what their gradings is. So they're all going to be students with ninety percent and above averages. Um, but I don't like to talk about averages so much because yeah. every university has a different um, policy on on how their grades are distributed. Thank you. Thank you, Aura.